What is going on everybody? Welcome to the ninth Monte Carlo video. Uh, so now that we've got this far, we found out that betters are <clears throat> not necessarily allowed to go under zero, but we're not showing it very well uh, when they go bust. So uh, let's go ahead and fix that now because that's kind of a big deal that we kind of want to see that visually. So let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do is we're going to visit our doubler better. And what we're going to do is, let's see, if the previous wager was a loss, what we're going to do is we're going to roll dice. The wager is going to equal previous wager times 2. Um, so we'll come here and then we'll say if value minus wager is less than 0, wager equals value. So this way, we will only wager what we have left. We won't be able to wager <clears throat> into the negatives. So we were allowing this to kind of occur before, and now we are not allowing this to occur. And we basically need to do the same thing right down here as well. Um, so there. So this was a loss as well. Um, so in both the win and the loss, we want to make it clear what our wager was. Um, so now what we'll do is up here where it says zero, we'll say if value is less than or equal to zero, uh, we do this. And then what we're gonna do is, let me think here, full dice. L, so if value down here, I think we're all set. So LF previous wager is a loss. And instead of doing this here, uh, what we'll do is we want to put this, let me think. Well, we definitely need to make this less than or equal to zero there. And before the break, we really want to append this stuff. So let's just cut and paste this here. Although I think that would just break that if, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and run this now. Uh, and let's just run doubler better. Simpler better. Uh, where is simpler better hiding at? Instead of less than zero, we'll do less than or equal zero. And he's, that's really all we had to do to change him, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, I think we were, oh, okay, we didn't put too big of a number. Okay, so now we can a little better see the people that uh, go end up going to zero. Yeah, so that looks a lot better. So we can see how many people actually go broke. Because uh, before we weren't actually being able to visualize uh, the amount of people that went actually went broke, so now we can. Now while we're here, the only thing I would want to change at this point is to add one more parameter to our betters. So for double or better, let's add color. So and we'll take this color and we'll put it in here because we might want to use multiple versions of double or better and stuff. So for now, we'll put in color. Um, and then we'll do the same thing here, simpler, better, color variable instead. And then when we go to plot, instead of K, it's color. And then here we do doubler better with cyan, simpler, better is K. So that should work. Let me run that again just to make sure that we did what we wanted to. Okay, cool. And then obviously our pretty similar uh, end result here. We'll close out of that. So that's going to conclude this video. And the next video, what we're going to do is um, a little bit better comparison of simple or simple better versus our doubler better, just to see. Uh, and then we also want to look at not only do we want to look at you know life expectancy, but we also want to look at profit chances. So anyways, that's what we have to look forward to. As always, thanks for watching.